Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, in one of my other YouTube videos, I posted a video on tracing in the Silhouette Studio software. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to click the link here or down in the description to watch it. In this video, I showed you how to import images from either Google Image, Yahoo Image, or anywhere on the internet. And then once they're imported, I showed you how to trace them. You can uh, trace, trace outer edge, trace and detach, and basically the basic features of the trace option in Silhouette Studio software. In this video, I want to show you a little bit more of an advanced feature that I use the trace for, which is creating layers. Now, when you get a typical SVG file, for example, I'm going to use this Alice in Wonderland file here from Lettering Delights, it's going to have layers. So as you can see here, here's one layer, you have a second layer here, you have a third layer here, fourth, so on and so forth. So when you cut this, you're cutting all of these different layers and then constructing the doll um, using these layers. And it's what makes SVGs uh, very unique and very user-friendly and a lot of people like them. And a lot of people like to then, of course, uh, like I do, use ink on the edges, and it just gives your project a whole new level of creativity. So most of your files you get from the internet are going to be a one layer image. So for example, this Mickey file here that I have downloaded from Google Images, he's one layer. He's not an SVG file, so he doesn't have layers. He's one layer. So my options at this point is to print and cut him, have him one layer, or I could technically um, just uh, print them, I guess. But if I wanted to print all these different layers, so for example, his pants and his shoes, um, without creating an SVG file, I'm going to show you how to do that using the trace feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our trace. We're going to select our trace area. We're going to draw a box around Mickey. Now keep in mind when doing this, guys, that this is a multiple step process. So you're not going to be able to do this in one trace, but I'm going to show you just by following my steps how you can do it. So once you've drawn a box around Mickey, you're going to turn your high pass filter off and your threshold right about here. And what I'm looking for is I don't want to fill in too much space because I do want to create some lines for this to, to create the pieces I need. Um, so I like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit trace and move Mickey out of the way. So right now, Mickey is one item, so it's still one layer. However, if I unclick uh, him and hit Release Compound Path, that's going to separate all of these pieces, and this is where the layering starts to happen. If we move this back piece out of the way, that there is your base of Mickey. So we can turn that black, okay? Now, before you move anything else, you want to make sure you group things because everything right now, because we released that compound path, is separate. So, for example, I want this hand to be grouped because that's going to be one whole item. So, I'm going to go ahead and select that and group that item so where I can move it and it's not these pieces come with it. So, this here is now one layer and that's going to be right here, his hand. We also have a hand here that we're going to want to go ahead and group. And I'll do that one white so you guys can see it. And that one it will go right here. And this actually piece here is both his hand right here and his little button here and his button there. Now for his face, you have your his face and his eyes. So we're going to move his face out of the way and his eyes will stay there, which is fine. Now his face obviously is this color, so we'll go ahead and change it to that color. And there is your layer for his face. Now his eyes, we are going to want to go ahead and um, that's going to be white. That's going to be white. And then we want to go ahead and group this. And you have one layer here. Now we also need, let's go ahead and 
actually ungroup this because we do need this little part right here to be black. So we might have to zoom in to get that. There we go. So now that we have that black, we can go ahead and group these. And that will go right there. So that's one layer. All right. So now we have his, um, you have a couple pieces down here. You have um, right here, which is in between his legs. Now you can either cut out white or you can actually um, make cut lines there. So you could actually move these over and just tell the system to cut there. Or you could actually cut these out. Um, so it depends on what you want to do. So, for example, if I didn't want to end up cutting those, I could just cut these in white and move them there. Or you can cut them out and just cut them out for Mickey and, and whatever you want, but we'll create a layer. Here is his shoes. So we're going to go ahead and combine these two and group these. And that is his first shoe. And that will go here. We're going to go ahead and group this. That's his second shoe. Now, the one thing we still don't have yet is we don't have his tongue or his pants here. So let's go ahead and trace those because obviously he needs tongue and he needs pants. So we're going to go ahead and come um, as close as you, I mean, you can definitely zoom in to get a better trace and let's go and start with his mouth and try to get as much in as possible. You want just the mouth. You want to try to minimize anything else. And then once again, we're going to turn off the high pass filter, trace it and see what we got here. Okay, and there is his tongue. So we can go ahead and release compound path. The only part we need is his tongue, which is there, and get rid of the rest. So that is his tongue. And that's going to end up going right there. And then we need, of course, his pants. So let's go ahead and trace his pants. And once again, you just want to get as much of it as you can, obviously. We're going to hit trace. And there is his pants right there. So we're going to hit select that and hit release compound path. And his pants are red. So there is his pants. So um, obviously you can, um, you know, do a much better job by zooming in, zooming out, all that good stuff. Um, I just did this really quickly for demonstration purposes to show you how you can quickly create uh, layering. So essentially what you would do now at this point is... Um, I normally wouldn't color it because obviously it's uh, it's not a print and cut, it's a cut. But what I would do at this point is I would be able to cut this now. So you're going to separate your pieces uh, to whatever you're going to be cutting. So obviously this would be cut on peach. This would be cut on red, so it is tongue. That would be one grouping. This would be cut out on white. This, oops, didn't want all that. This would be cut out on white, including these guys here. Didn't group those, sorry about that. 
you have your shoes that would be cut out on yellow and then you have your eyes that would be cut out on white so there is a way as you can see we would group all those together group that together so this grouping here I would cut out on white this grouping here I would cut out on um, peach or whatever red yellow and base so essentially this project would have one two three four five different layers or different colors you would use then starting with the base like we just showed you you would go base then you would put his face in the mix you would then put his hand his hand eyes would go here pants would go there tongue would go there shoe shoe and then these things if you either chose to cut them out or if you chose to um, actually cut that out and then these would be actually cut out all right guys I hope that made sense um, I know it's uh, confusing at times and it's a quick video, but that is a way that I use layering to create layers, or excuse me, that's how I use tracing, sorry, to create layers in the Silhouette Studio software. Um, so it can be done, it's a little bit more clunky and complicated. Um, the one tip I will give you guys is it does, uh, it's worth your while to keep playing around with it and keep tracing it until you get the perfect trace. For example, his pants, I would have spent a lot more time tracing to get a better fit because there is a lot of black. As you can see, if I was to layer this and not have that shadow, it's not the perfect trace. So there's a lot in there. Um, so take your time, get the best trace. Um, the great thing about Silhouette Studio software is always that little back arrow here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my blog. You can find the blog at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you're checking out all my YouTube videos and liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, spreading the love of Ken's creations. And also, if you have any questions on this video, how I did this, or any further explanation, feel free to reach out for me. All right, guys, thanks for watching how to create layers with the tracing feature. Hope to see you soon. Go out there and create something magical. Thanks, everyone.